Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University. This is the latest from Echelon and Team Synergy, release number 420. <laughs> For the Samsung Galaxy S3 multi-carrier, you get it on uh, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T. Uh, when you go to the Rome installer, I think it detects on which carrier you're on or you select which carrier you're on and uh, it takes care of everything for you so you can boot it up without any problems. Now, uh, some of the things that are features here in Synergy. First of all, this release has been based off a new custom framework by Synergy, uh, 4.1.2 Kinda. It's 4.1.1 S3 and Note 2 and pieces of 4.1.2 from the MB1 update. So it's all three mixed into one a custom framework with Team Synergy. Now, that does have the uh, multi-window from the Galaxy Note 2. Multi-carrier, of course, which I already said. They did block Samsung's root checker, so instead of uh, saying modified, it will say normal now. Uh, you got the 15 notification toggles. You got 4-in-1 uh, reboot, Wi-Fi tether, and speed and performance tweaks, and a little bit of theming as well. Now, going into the settings menu here, let's see what we're working with. We'll go to and About Phone, and uh, you see we're on 4.1.2, the MB1. I'm using Ziggy's kernel, and we're on release number 420 okay back out of the settings menu here one thing I've been doing uh, to get some pretty instantaneous uh, changing between mem menus is a lot of us have gone into window animation transition animation and animator duration scale and changed them to 0.5 but you see I've turned mine off and it actually has made it much much faster uh, I get instant in and out of menus and stuff like that so give it a try maybe it'll work maybe it won't work for you uh, but that might be something you want to try to so just turn them off uh, some of the other things here, of course, it just looks pretty much normal. You got your lock screen options. You can enable your AOSP lock screen, lock screen torch. You also have your weather and your clock, help text, and things like that. Uh, what else do we have here? Da -da 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 -da. Lock screen, location services, battery storage, display. In display here, this is where you're going to have a toggle also for the multi-window. This does have multi-window, and a little thing while I'm here, I might as well show you now instead of later where I had planned it. Uh, multi-window, you're able to toggle it on and off. You can see the check is right there next to it. Now, one bug that's in here that has already been published uh, right below the change log that they will get upset with you if you complain about it later, is that if you want to deselect multi-window and turn it off altogether, you need need to have multi-window engaged, okay? You need to have the bar here. If you, of course, hold the back button down, you get rid of the multi-window. If you hold the back button down, you get the multi-window, okay? So do not have the uh, multi-window or the sidebar disengaged when you click multi-window because it will mess things up and actually have the reverse effect and you'll have a toggle over here even though multi-window is not working, okay? So one more time, make sure you have it selected and then deselect multi-window for it to go away. If you want it back, of course, you'll select it, but make sure that that toggle is there if you want multi-window, and that's, of course, going to be in your display, okay? Back out to the home screen, or back up to the uh, settings menu, now to the home screen, you can see I got the 4x5 launcher. You can choose, I think, the 4x4, 4x5, 4x6, and Nova in there. Maybe another choice, the, hmm, the Tribuca, Tribuc. I think it's like the AOSP Cyanogen Mod Launcher, but uh, you have your launcher options. I chose the 4x5. Very quick, look, you can see here with the, the uh, animations turned off how fast this actually is. Now, look, let's go back over here, and I'm going to go into my app drawer, back out again. See how instant this is? Super, super fast. In the app drawer, it just flies. Okay? Out, in again. Out, in. Settings menu, up. Gone. Settings menu, up. Gone. So turning off those animations really does make it seem a lot faster and a lot snappier as well. Uh, I wanted to show you the notification pull down. Of course, you get the choice. Well, you don't really get the choice of toggles. It's already in there for you. You get the 15 notification toggles, all these up here, everything you'd want and need, right? Your fingertips. Of course, you got the uh, auto brightness, or you can have the brightness slider, and I like to use the uh, brightness slider all the time. Synergy ROM right down there at the bottom, as you can see there, which is pretty sweet. Um, back out here, show you the GPS, GPS status. Of course, if you don't use this app, you should probably download it. When you open it for the first time, you want to go to Tools, Manage a GPS State, Download, and let it do its thing. That's just getting you the latest uh, satellite positions and all that so it can lock on quicker and get you better GPS. 15 out of 18, it locked on pretty quick inside the house. So GPS is working fine, no problems with that at all. Also, over at droidviews.com, I'm actually a writer and contributor over there. Uh, this app over here, Cedar app. Supposedly, this thing will uh, will make your phone less laggy. 
Uh, see this avail available entropy over here? This stuff actually is, I guess, um, some kind of memory that your phone builds up so that it's able to not lag. I don't quite understand it, but uh, droidviews.com has got the uh, application over there for you to check out, and uh, definitely check out the rest of the website. I'll talk more about that a little bit later on, okay? Just wanted to show you that while I was over there as far as uh, keeping it snappy and fast. Going to do some kernel stuff here. Voltage control is what I've been using lately. Of course, you do have the uh, governors. I choose Smart SV2 instead of On Demand. I've been rocking On Demand for a while, but I switched. The scheduler, I have no idea what this is, but I heard that Zen's good, so I put that up there. Uh, you do have a minimum of uh, 384, maximum of 1.9. Uh, we're not going to do those changes. Uh, so we're back at 1.5, 1 gigahertz, and uh, that is with the with the kernel. You can choose Ziggy's, you can choose the stock one, and of course, uh, you can always use a different one like Lean Kernel or KT747 or something like that as well. And of course, they have their own threads, and you can read more about those kernels there as well. Uh, let's see here. Also, camera. Let's check out the cameras. You do have the 4.2 camera in gallery, and you have the Galaxy Note 2 camera and uh, gallery, which you can see, of course, this is the Note 2 gallery, da 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 and we'll show you the camera. Now, the camera's got a few new features here I wanted to show you. First of all, this is what the camera looks like. you got your video camera here as well. Now, zoom with the volume button, or you can use the volume button to take a picture, okay? That's one thing. The other thing is the limit for MMS bug has been fixed. Now, I'm not quite sure what the limit for MMS bug was. I wasn't on Synergy. I'm guessing it maybe forced closed when you clicked on it or wouldn't record. So I've clicked on it. We're in it now. It hasn't forced closed. And I've hit record, and it is recording right now in the MMS mode. So if this is what the bug was and it's fixed, then awesome. Uh, otherwise, I don't know what the bug is to help fix it, okay? Uh, what's this button over here? Aha. Uh -huh. We'll bring it back to normal. Now, the other thing with the camera. Now, if you go back to the camera, you do have the option to use your volume as a zoom. Or you can go into settings, and you see this option here, use the volume key as, click that, the camera key. Okay, now if we get out of here, we'll use this, and it's taking pictures like crazy. I didn't know I had burst shot mode. Ready? Look at burst shot was uh, was engaged. So you can use the volume key, which is very good down here on your bottom thumb when you're trying to take a picture to just pull that or push that button right there, and it's in the options in your camera. Okay, that's new for this build. All right. So Note 2 camera and gallery, the 4.2 camera and gallery. That's the cameras. Now some other new things, brand new things here in Synergy. Updated multi-window for 4.1.2, okay? Cleaned it up, made this thing work really good. Some new features in it, including the floating keyboard, okay? The floating keyboard, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. Full APK memory optimization. It's a new Synergy tool that they've run on the ROM before they release it to us. It's nothing you can play with, um, but they're very excited about it because it optimizes the ROM. It makes you use less RAM. It makes it faster and quicker, and uh, they say it's even cleaner. The code's even cleaner than stock when it comes out from Samsung and Verizon, so that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big claim. IMEI and network name has been fixed. We'll go in and we'll check this real quick. So this is the last thing I want to show you here. Of course, you can long press back to uh, get rid of it or have it appear. Now, this is the new floating keyboard. Let me show you. Let's just say that you were uh, wanted to open up Chrome, okay? And then you wanted to open up, say, Tap and Talk and go check out XDA. All right, now while I'm in XDA, I want to Google something. So I'm going to click on Google and, ta-da, you see that keyboard that pops up? It's the new floating keyboard, all right? You can bring it up here if you want to, if you want to type something down here. Uh, uh, type on or look at something down there and type up here. If you want to type, say, in Google here, I could just type in like I did before, Android. You can see it works. You hit search, and there you go. So the new floating keyboard, same thing goes down here. If I want to go to XDA, go to my favorites. Go to the Verizon Galaxy S3, go to oop, Android development, and we'll go into the Synergy thread. Here, let me long press that and go up there. We'll go into the Synergy thread, and I'll pretend like I want to reply, and up pops the new keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll bring it up here, 
I can grab this back here and bring it down there and now I'll be able to type down here Ta-da! I have no idea what I put. So that's the new feature, the new floating keyboard. It works with the Samsung keyboard, the Note 2 keyboard as well. Um, not quite sure. There are some other ones that have the support for the floating keyboard, uh, but this is the Samsung keyboard. It's new with the multi-window feature, okay? That's pretty much it. Uh, it's an amazing ROM. Synergy, release number 420, 4.1.2, custom framework by Team Synergy. You got the uh, new multi-window code and multi-window, which is uh, working 100%. One other thing I wanted to show you is if you wanted to add, if you've never used multi-window before, on the sidebar down at the bottom, I'll say edit. And if you want to add, you just take them and drag them over into line. If you want to get rid of them, you just long press and drag them over into this area. Now, one option you do have that I might want to caution you on is you have the ability to have a clear background with your multi-window. Well, as you can see, there's a mess on my screen right now because my apps behind it are showing, the apps for multi-window are showing, so you might not want to select the clear background. That's something that I probably would change, but uh, it still works just the same as long as you look at it carefully, okay? So you hit done when you're done, it gets rid of that, and of course leaves this, and there you go. Uh, once again, release number 420, Synergy. Uh, great ROM, definitely want to download it. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, ROM reviews and application reviews at Android University, all one word. It's over at YouTube.com. Also, I'm a writer and contributor to that website that I told you earlier, DroidViews.com. If you're looking for launchers, ringtones, notification uh, sounds, wallpapers, um, the latest Android apps, that's where I got that Cedar app as well. Uh, we're putting some good stuff up there and uh, that's a great website to check out droidviews.com v-i-e-w-s dot com and uh, I promise you you won't be disappointed hey have a great day enjoy Synergy release number 420 and uh, I'm going to go 420 see ya